One of the five who featured in the book, Five of the Few, was pilot Tony Pickering. Uh, Tony arrived at number five flying training school, Sealand, in May 1940, just as the Battle of France was opening. Tony built up his flying hours and then via number six OTU, he entered the Battle of Britain uh, in August 1940. Now, what follows is a short sound extract from the interview with Tony in which, well, he describes his, his physical characteristics uh, and how they determined his future with the Royal Air Force. I was advanced onto what they called advanced training and on a Miles Master, which was an aircraft very similar to a Hurricane, a wooden aircraft made by Miles people down at Reading, I think it was. But uh, the thing was, I was at Sealand in, in Cheshire, which was a number five flying training school, and we, we were there, we should have been there for about three months actually, I think we were there slightly longer, but that should have been about three months. And when we arrived there, there was a whole course of us arrived. I mean, suddenly one weekend, about 40 pilots arrived for course number so-and-so, I don't know what course it was, say course number 40 or something like that. For this course, 40 people arrived. We went, we were told to report at eight o'clock in the morning at the flight commander's office, parade ground was in front we were paraded by a flight sergeant who lined us all up 40 of us and he said shortest to the shortest to the right tallest to the left tallest to the left shortest to the right so we went down like that as you can imagine now you wouldn't believe this but it's exactly true the flight commander was told that we were all there standing at attention he walked out of the office came up, he walked down to the middle, he put his hand down the middle, and he said, right, you to the le left, the tallest, will go on to bombers, you to the right, the shortest, will go on to fighters. And that's how I became a fighter pilot.